but not workers. Okay, this week um, in the newsletter, um, just some, uh, I guess, uh, logistic -y notes. Uh, Kenny's going to be doing guest guest editing soon. So uh, give a shout out to Katney when you see Katney around either in our Discord or um, wherever. Send um, us or tag us with any news for the newsletter. Um, when we have guest editors, Anne's on vacation uh, for a couple weeks. So when we have guest editors, I, I always encourage them to, um, you know, have it be different you know, put your own spin on it, your own voice. Um, and speaking of, uh, lots of CircuitPython folks doing podcasts and more. I kind of like this uh, new um, podcast interview uh, landscape that we have. If there's someone who's producing code or doing something really neat, there's probably a specific podcast that, that they're getting interviewed on, whether it be video or audio. And uh, this is no exception. So CircuitPython with Ketney, um, you could check this out. And then um, with uh, the Real Python podcast, uh, Todd Kurt is there, which I'm going to listen to because I've known Todd. Who is this guy? I've known Todd for a long time. This is and he always has neat, uh, neat projects, really insightful, always delightful, whimsical, has uh, like really neat things uh, that Todd shares with the world, and then we see other people do cool stuff with it. So I'm looking forward to that when I have it loaded up. And then we went over some of our. Um, uh, toy hacking and more because this is one of our new circuit python boards it's a toy hacker board so you can put this inside of a uh, baby toy this is the first uh baby toy running python it is yeah until someone you know someone says, oh, yells at me on twitter um we think it's the first wi-fi and circuit python or python enabled baby toy and with uh we'll show a little clip later we put uh taylor swift on um the uh uh, the kid's toy. Yeah. So if you've seen these, these are Baby Einstein take along and it just plays the same like seven songs. So we have a drop in replacement that you'll be able to put in there soon. And uh, it's a cool board. This is also maybe it could teach product design and development. Um, also a single single serving music player. There's a lot of neat uses for it. But you know, we have a specific one um, right now. And then um, update for CircuitPython 8.2.0, release candidate zero. If you want to check out the latest, what's going on, um, here are some changes. There's Synth.io, and uh, there is a RP2040 alarm sleep memory um, fix change. Um, Please try it. Yeah, we've been doing a lot of tweaks, uh, and if there's any regressions, we want to find them. But uh, Synth.io continues apace. Yeah. And do check out all the news. There's a ton of things going on. Um, Make just reviewed some of our boards. Yeah. Um, so yeah. You, could, you could check out the board. Um, well, we finally have like a bunch of new hardware, you know, that's been yeah. out. And so Hackspace and Make yeah. have been um, covering them. Yeah, with the, uh, you know, supply chain, supply shortage, ch chip shortage kind of subsiding, you can see uh, more and more and more of uh, our boards. And uh, Make did a really good job reviewing it. Um, I think the DVI board is neat because, you know, plugs into to TVs. Well, yeah. And uh, well, I, obviously, I, you know, we, I can't talk about what um, Raspberry Pi may, have, may or may not have told us about their future products, but they said they really liked the Feather Bones board. They were like those. Yeah. Ones. Yeah. Yeah. We're in their friend DA with them. So they'll have some announcements and more to check yes. out. Um, you can get uh, this from Adafruit Daily. Uh, it goes to your inbox every single week. No spam. We don't do anything. It's a completely separate site. Do check it out. Let's do.